Hey guys, my name is Danny Kopel, and welcome to a game called One Shot. Now, I want to say a couple things before we get into it. First of all, I have hair! <laughs> I, I'm not wearing a toque this time, mostly because it's a beautiful spring day and I don't feel like putting a toque on. But when I started, well, when I started thinking about the channel, really, I kind of wanted to wear toques in every video because I'm Canadian and it felt like a Canadian thing to do. But I'm realizing more and more that as I'm growing to love YouTube, I love the videos I do where I'm just myself. And even though I absolutely do love toques, they're kind of a part of me and they're not going to be gone for good. Absolutely not. But I just didn't want to wear it today. So that's okay. If you have an issue with it, which I'm sure no one will, but if you do, screw it. I don't want to wear a toque. And my hair is being funny, so please ignore that. Also, more important than my hair, um, I do want to preface this game series, whatever, by saying I do know that Mark, uh, I mean Markiplier, is playing it, and that is not why I'm playing it. Seeing him post it reminded me of this game, but I've had this on my Steam library for like five or six months, and I completely forgot about it. I kind of think it didn't interest me as much just because it was a uh, top-down view and I've never really played ones like that except the boss demo, which I did like a lot. But I think we're going to get in and I think I'm going to love it because the art style is adorable. I love this kind of, it's kind of like a animal anime type of style, but it's so cute. And the music already, oh, soundtrack, so, so relaxing. I'm so... <laughs> I'm so energetic, I had such a good day, but this is gonna make me sleepy, so that's probably a good thing. So, anyways, enough talking, let's get in and play the game. Oh, it was not mouse, was it? Can I use mouse? Nope. Okay, it's arrow keys and space. Yay! Oh, okay. Um, so how do I... there we go. Explore and interact with the environment and the characters. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you've picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory. When the item is active, you can either combine it with other items in the inventory or use it at certain locations in order to progress. 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 Whatever. Full screen is an option. Oh, it is best experience in windowed. Because the window on my screen is a tiny little window. Not tiny, tiny, but it's not full screen at all. But that's okay. Makes it easier for recording. Uh, closing the game will save your progress. Oh, that's good. This game also auto-saves after some key events. Perfect. I do want to say too, I saw Mark start playing it, but I didn't watch more than like five minutes. So I don't really know anything about this game, which is good because I've never really played a game like this fresh off without knowing anything about it. Oh, oh my mouse should not be on screen. Sorry. Those scary eyes. Look at how cute she, she is. H Hello? I apologize too if you don't like voices. I'm not great at voices, but I'm gonna try and do some. Oh, look at how cute you are. Can we turn on the computer? Oh. Oh, password. Okay. Oh. Uh, how do I exit out? Jeez, I already forgot the controls. Oh yeah, I remember this password part. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. She's, she looks like she has a sweet little kind of calm voice. A soft glow- oh, I guess this isn't her though. Trickles through the window. I'm gonna read them as her thoughts. What's this? There's a TV remote here. Nico picks it up. Oh, I like Nico. That's such a cute name. I want to get a puppy named Nico. That would be cute. What's this on the floor? A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. We got ourselves a branch. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh, there's nothing else to do with it. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Jeez, that's really creepy. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. There's no water in the toilet. Why not? That's weird. The tub won't run. Did someone screw up our plumbing? All right. Well, let's head back out. Can we do anything with these holes? I don't think so. Can we go back to bed? Nico just woke up here. I guess that isn't her talking then if she refers to herself. Oh wait, the door's locked? 
Wait, what did I do? Testy books. Uh, what do I have in my inventory? What was... S? Yeah. TV remote. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I wasn't doing it before. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. All the numbers except 3, 1, 5, and 7 are missing. Oh, okay, so these are the colors for the password. 3 is yellow, 1 is red, 5 is green, 7 is blue. 3, 1, 5, 7. 5 is green, is that right? There we go, we got it! Okay, maybe I'm not as smart as I thought I was. I thought that would be easier. <laughs> Access granted. Hello? You found me. This is an eerie desktop. And where'd the music go? Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. What's going on? Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. I can do it. I will help her out. Let's save little Nico. She's so cute. And most importantly, you only have one sh shot. Whoa, what? Okay, I knew it was kind of that kind of game, but that's, that's scary. <laughs> okay, I know games have done this all the time before, but I've never actually played one where they... Read your frickin' computer! I didn't put that in. That's DNEC, and that's... That's part of the email for my... Computer. Oh. Wait. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be that kind of game, is it? It won't turn on. Okay, that's fine. We don't need the computer no more. Hello, world! Hello! Wait, what voice am I gonna give her? Hello? Anyone? No one's here. Oh, okay, we can't walk over the hole. I guess that makes sense. The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. Oh, okay. So what can we use to light that spark? <laughs> it can cause a giant explosion and blow our house up. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit, lit from. I don't know why I did that. Oh dear, I didn't mean to click that again. Okay, can we sit on the couch? Can we just relax in this nice atmosphere? Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Let's have a drink. The sink won't turn on. Oops, I keep double clicking on things. Just a table. Okay. And what's this? Is this... this it looks like a fabricator from Star Trek. Oh, it looks like a key slot. Okay, so we gotta find a key. A really weird shaped key. What is it? Is it like a light bulb or a, a female sign? Is that? No, it's... Oh, okay. So we gotta combine this and this. Nico dips the branch into the alcohol. We have a wet branch and an empty bottle. Awesome! Okay, so we will use the wet branch. Nico readies the branch. Woo! Scary. Ah! <laughs> that was a very squeaky. Ah! Oh, look, we have a favorite flaming branch. Woof! Oh, hey, look! A sparkle! Oh, pick up, pick up the sparkle. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object metallic object wedged into a crack on the floor. Nico digs it out with her cute little claws. I really like the style of Nico. Like, you uh, up close, she looks a little creepy because her eyes are so huge, but she's just so adorable. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming the keys for this door. Oh, we have to get the key out. Oh. Unlock. Ooh. Nico, I'm glad you have luminescent eyes. Otherwise, we would probably tumble down these stairs and die. We'd probably die. Don't want to do that. Oh, look! It's the exact key we need! How convenient. <laughs> Doesn't look like a key. It looks like like a old doorknob. Like a knocker. 
a doorknob. It's a light bulb. It looks like a little paw. Aww. Whoa. Miko, you're magic. Also, that is a giant light bulb. We can go back up the stairs. Okay, good. I thought the stairs weren't there for a second. It's quiet. Why is it so quiet? Can we have music back? I'd like the music back, please. This is a little unnerving. Okay. Oh, we have to. I keep forgetting to actually select them. I like the little dings that exist. Yay! We lit it up! Where are we being teleported to? Hello! Why are we in, like, a lab? Whoa! We're outside! Oh, it's so pretty! What is that? What is that? Is that like that giant obelisk thing in DC? Quick travel to the location you have already visited by selecting the fast travel. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Default key for A. Fast travel. Okay. That's okay. Um, how long are we? Okay, we'll go a little longer. Hello, little guy. It has no power. No longer has power. Can we stick our cute little light bulb in it? What's this? It's so pretty. Can I walk across this? Oh, I can. Oh my gosh, look at my little footsteps. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. What's left? Why are there so many robots around here? That's strange. Alright, let's wander around. Why are there robots and random railways? Are any of these robots working? No. Can we... Oh, we can't go up here. It's a robot head. Poor robot. Okay, I don't think there's anything up there. I'm gonna... Ah, I'm stuck. I know that... Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I can't go that way. I thought that was a path across there. Ah. I keep getting stuck on rocks. Rocks and robot heads. Whoa. Hello. Um. Oh. What is happening? Why is it so dark? I'm scared to do anything that's gonna hurt Nico. Was there a pathway over here? Did I see that? Uh, I did, I did. Oh, no, it's just a dock. Whoa, look at the water. That's cool. So we do have to go up here. Uh, oh, hello, dude. You look like a little leprechaun. Oh, I can't go around that. Come on, Nico, you're a tiny wee little thing. You can't squeeze around that. I love all the moon pools. They're so pretty. Okay, so we're just getting in here? Uh, hello? Um, hello? He's not saying anything to us. Okay. He's not very friendly. Wait. This is a different place. Is it? It is. This bed probably looks familiar to you, Danny C. Danic. It's just Danic. That's that's eerie. Nico, first woke up in this world here. Wait, in this bed or in this area? Were we actually here at the start? It's important to you. It's important that you allow Nico to sleep once in a while. The game will exit automatically and can be continued later. Don't be alarmed. But now is no time for rest. Okay. What's this? It looks like a fluorescent light bulb. Broken se off section of railing. Nico takes it. You're taking everything, little girl. Little Nico. I'm glad there aren't like any pits that I can fall into and die. That would suck. Okay. I'm not gonna bother going out on the decks if there's no one there. Nothing over here. We can't jump, can we? No. Okay. I was wondering if we are supposed to platform. I don't like it when it goes dark. The air here is unbreathable. Okay. St 
still unbreathable? Okay, I guess we can't go that way. What do we do then? We have a railing and an empty bottle. Was there somewhere else we could have gone down here? Is this fast travel? No, not really. I wondered if it made us... Oh wait, I can... Silly me, I can run. Why do you do that? That's scary. Look at me go! I'm so cute fast. Can we go somewhere down here? Oh, we can go further down. Kind of. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't like it when it goes dark. That's scary. Hello, robot. I'm gonna save you. Well, I probably... Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a robot! Ah! That light bulb! You are here! M me Yes! Welcome to our world, friend! I am most humbled by your presence! Yes! Uh, thanks. Uh, sorry. I'm a little lost. Ah, right! Allow me to explain some things. <laughs> May I first ask how you arrived here? I I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh. So you woke up in an unfamiliar, dark location? Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold. Yes! You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. <laughs> it's cute. Um, I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Uh, well, can you tell me about this world, the light bulb, the computer, going home? Um, uh, the light bulb. I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new son. Your son? Yes! Years ago, our previous son sat atop that tower. Oh, the tall white one. And spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah, I like thinking of- did it say his name? Or is it just a robot? I like thinking of him as, of this cute little high-pitched robot, but he's a philosopher and a prophet. What's the, whatever that's called? But now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begin your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh, can you tell me about... Uh... A computer? Yeah. In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, Your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Danny C. Ah! <laughs> this is so creepy. Danny C? Uh, that would be our god. <laughs> I'm the god, really? Um, should I be Danny C or D Danik? No, Danny C. Danik just sounds weird. If you are here, that means Danik is here also. Or Danny C, I just said. Danik, you know what, Danik, whatever. I'm going to end up saying Danik anyways. Danik will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Danik yet? 
I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Danik. An ability that no one else possesses. Certainly not I. Please, close your eyes and focus. I, I wish it wasn't Danny C in there. I wish it was just Danny. Because that would be so much easier. I'm going to try and do Danny C though. I'll probably forget here and there, but Danik just sounds weird. And it's not my name. <laughs> Alright. Hi, Miko. Hello? Danny C? Are you there? <laughs> That's not my name. If I do that, can I change my name? You know what? Screw it. Let the game be itself. Yes. Oh! N nice to meet you, Danny C. My name is Nico. Hi, Nico! <laughs> I actually heard someone. Th they said their name is Danny C. This is incredible. I probably could have changed my name there, couldn't I? Do not be afraid to ask Danny C for assistance. You are the messiah after all. Can you tell me about... Uh, we're gonna finish up this list and then we'll probably end the episode. This world, I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim. Nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody. Not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now. The Barrens. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. <coughs> Excuse me? Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. <coughs> ah. Robot's voice is starting to kill my throat. Already. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in the south post somewhere oh can you tell me about going home oh I, I don't mean to be rude but I I'm I'm not sure about this I still don't know how to get how I got here I was just with my mama a few hours ago oh and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream oh her face looks so sad I just want to go home Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. Oh, well thanks for trying, bud. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent! <laughs> I wish you luck! Can we go in here? I like he moves around. Oh! Big scary dungeon. Okay, we're gonna go back inside because it's nicer out here. Alright! Alright, well I'm gonna leave this episode here. This is so fun! Oh my gosh, I didn't expect to like this quite as much as I do, but I love it! Hi, Nico! Now it's kind of creepy because it feels like she's staring at me from the screen. But, anyways, I love this game. I hope you guys enjoy it. And... Oh, sorry, I don't know what else to say. I just love this. The soundtrack, oh, it's kind of creepy though. I don't know what I'm going to do if I ever play a game where the game actually affects my computer. That would freak me out, especially recording. I don't want it to mess it up. But <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of One Shot. I love you all, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Nico, can you hear me? I don't want her to answer. <laughs>